welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing another Renaissance Fair. So I am dressed up as a Hufflepuff. We've got my fellow Slytherin here. And we actually got here so early that they have not even opened the doors yet. Kind of going yet. <laughs> yeah, so we are hoping we get to hear the king and queen today actually do their host spiel. So I'm super excited about that. So I will record that for you guys once they come out. Surprise that 
shall eclipse all, we have extended a royal invitation to the fiercest warriors in all of Africa. Bring forth Queen Amina and her royal escort. Over here, um, I got me the fried cheesecake, which I'm super excited about. Miss Raven is right here. We are burning up. I had to take my robe off because it's hot. And if you hear screaming, it's because we are right here at the joust. So, but I'm gonna try these and let you guys know how they taste. You wanna try it? I didn't want powdered sugar on it. I don't know how I feel about them. Honestly, the ones at uh, Del Taco were better. Really? Because mm -hmm. they have caramel inside. Like Honestly, I think I'm used to like cold cheesecakes. And that the hot texture of it is throwing me off. Like it. It's good. I mean, it's not something I'd probably get again like the ribbon fries their ribbon fries are bomb and i'll have to try those out for you guys too so why does my hand look black on here maybe i don't know it looks like my hands are black but they're not so weird but these are good 
There it is. I wouldn't get him again. Okay, so we are at the Peacock Tea Room at the festival. It's Wizard Weekend, so we've got cookie butter. I um, it's golden snitch served with apples and pretzels. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. We're gonna get the butterbeer trifle. Um, we both got one of each. And then I got a cheese and cracker plate for us to share, tea sandwich plate for us to share. I got her scotch egg. You got the Peacock Blend iced. Yes. And the- I got the strawberry moon iced and then you got the chai, chai french vanilla, chai french vanilla uh, uh, hot. hot tea yeah so where did you did you make sure there's no chamomile in that no i didn't we'll have to ask her first yeah okay since it's a secret blend we need we'll have to, to ask her because i'm allergic yeah because it says a mixture of uh blends and i'm allergic so i didn't even ask her it's a secret recipe and all but all we need to know if, if there's chamomile or not so yep <laughs> so i really want to try it so that looks like those are dishes. checked and unfortunately raven's drink does have chamomile so we we dodged a bullet on that one so she, and, and basically um i will be the only one trying it i just have to be super honest um and look look how cute it's i got a cute little set my cute little cup it's so cute should i just go ahead and do it yeah go ahead and do it okay yeah okay it's just so cute and they got sugar cubes <laughs> if you excited. if you can't tell guys she's super excited about the sugar cube honestly they're really cool like i love I, I just it's just so pretty and i love everything i don't think i need to let this steep anymore hold the hold the top as well because it will come undone sorry hold okay pretty okay. i probably shouldn't have filled it that much I but i just say, mesmerized yeah. it's fine it's it's, it's fine, fine i'm fine it's fine it's fine i'm fine it's fine the chai didn't want, that one didn't have chamomile in it either. So I can try that one. Yes. I just can't try this one. That's the only one. This one is the only one she can't try. Give your review real quick on that one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that's so good. That's, that's actually really good. It's not like super, super sweet, but it is sweet enough to where it, it's not like really bitter. And it's kind of almost got a fruity undertaste. Oh, it's the orange. They did say it was orange. Orange and cinnamon, I love quick. it. I'm gonna try mine real Go quick. Cause mine's called Strawberry Moon. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's good. Yeah, so it says it's a secret mi mixture of black, green, and white teas with exotic strawberry, ginger, and passion for You're taste. You're reading mine, darling. No, that's the strawberry moon. That's what I got. That is the strawberry? Hold on. Yeah, you got the peacock one, which is something different. Oh, strawberry, ginger, and passion fruit. Why am I... I literally, for, for some reason, just now, I really, I heard you say orange cinnamon spice. <laughs> how, how, I'm not even, okay. We have, like, had no sleep. Yeah, we that's... slept next to guinea pigs and they're allowed. They were absolutely so loud. Shall I make it? Yes, do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm mesmerized by it, y'all. Okay. Let me know if it's in frame. You good? Yes. We're okay. Good. Okay. So, 
I guess I'm gonna take my little sugar okay, cube. Okay, one sugar cube is one teaspoon, just to let you know. Okay. I usually do about four because I like my drink super sweet. So what kind did you get? I got the chai. Chai French vanilla. Yes. yes. Last year, I actually made that tea into scones. <gasps> I put the, I powderized the tea and then uh, put it in the mixture for the scones. Mm -hmm. And then when you bake it, that whole entire flavor just permeates the scones. It was oh my delicious. Gosh, well, I, that sounds amazing. I do YouTube and we're doing a review on it for your channel. You know? Hufflepuff, okay. Yes, yes. And, and, and Slytherin. Okay, Gryffindor. Yes, yes. Love so it. the scones are actually, what's that? The best dynamic. Right? <laughs> I mean, we do know how to play chess really well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't hate on that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so true. And this particular Gryffindor is a wizard in the kitchen. I don't need house elves. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so okay. usually I put four in mine. My mom puts three in hers. I just want to let you know if you like it super, super sweet. I do. Then I would probably put three first. And if you want it a little bit sweeter, then put in four. I put on one while I wasn't in frame. So this is three. Okay. So, you got a spoon in here to give us... Oh, well, no, you don't. There is not a spoon, but that is okay. I will use the knife. Okay. They will melt pretty quickly. And I do want to try it before you put the cream in it. Okay. Or milk, sorry. It's, it's milk. milk, but that's okay. It's so pretty. It's like this beautiful... Gold. And the fact that the sugar cube melts so quickly is even more aesthetically pleasing. It is though. I just like watching it become a little. I'm gonna read what the chai French vanilla is for you guys. So it is rich and delis delicious tasting, a chai tea blend that adds the subtle creamy flavor of French vanilla. This tea brews to an amber cup with a spicy aroma, and the and the taste that is smooth with spice notes. And then you got the peacock blend ice, which is our signature tea, uh, signature tea. A secret blend of herbs, fruit, and spices gives a pleasant orange cinnamon spice flavor. Which I should have known because chamomile is like a cinnamon flavor. Am I going to try it first? Yes. Okay. Because I'm going to add cream to mine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Did, gonna... did you see the stuff on there? That's what, that's that's what, what we got. That's what we got. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to try it real quick, y'all. Try it before you put the cream in it. Okay. Try it. Oh my god, it's so good. I might get another pot of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's. Oh my god. It's the best chai I've ever had. I get a chai chai I tea hate, latte. From I hate chai. You don't like chai? I, I hate chai. I hate chai. But you like that? That's good. I hate chai. That's good. That just that's, says how good this is. Oh my god, that's so good. And you're gonna put cream in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is something I like to do. Me too. Thank you you guys have a bag. great day. Now I'm going to try it with the milk. You want to try it with the milk too? I will, yeah. Okay. So good. Does it make it even better? Oh yeah. Okay. Because it even calms down the, the, the cinnamony. I just, I and like, like the cinnamon wasn't so overbearing. It yeah. was just like a hint of it, and that's like what I like. Okay. See, I got you thinking about it. It makes it totally different. It's oh a whole God. different experience. That's so good, isn't it? It's almost coffee-like. Like if if it wasn't already hot today, I probably wouldn't. I would, would probably have it. Like, yeah. but it's already hot, and I'm not feeling it today. But that's it's really good. good. But this one is really good, y'all. Like, it's not over... Like, if you've ever had McDonald's sweet tea... You know how, how slow I drink, right? Yeah. That's how good it is. She's, like, already completed her drink. She usually is a slow drinker. It's just so good. It is. Oh so, mine... I'll let you taste it here in a second. Mine, if, you, if you've ever had... If you are a sweet tea fan and you love McDonald's sweet tea, it's still, uh, like, not as sweet as that. But there's, like, a hint of strawberry in it. This one. You can't taste the passion fruit and you can't taste the uh, ginger. I only taste the strawberry, but it's good. Now I taste the ginger a little bit, but 
It's not bad. You want to try it? You can. She's going to give you her review on it. Oh, I like the flavors. Like the, the, the citrusy notes. I like the, the the ginger. I like the ginger notes and a little bit of strawberry. I like that a lot. Honestly, you can't taste the passion fruit. I think I the passion fruit is very soft and so is the ginger. It's not an overbearing flavor of ginger, which is really, really good. It's easy to go overboard on ginger. I can't wait for this. I saw you eyeing those trifles. So oh, yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> Thank you. We went to the pool all out. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have to. It's Wizard Weekend. Thank you. I don't know which goes to. Oh, we're sharing it all. Yeah. All right. Running out of space. I'm a professional. You are. You got this. I got this. Got, we got faith in you. I forgot this was yours for a minute. Watche. That's hers. That's me. That's all hers. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to sit this. What is the green stuff? I don't know. Okay. Read, so read the, read I'm going to. I'm already ahead of you, girl. Okay, good. All right. So I'm going to sit this down real quick because that's our thingy. All right. So here's what we've got. So the first thing she's going to do is she's going to try the scotch egg for you guys because I don't like scotch eggs, so I didn't get one. And that's what you've been most excited about. So, Whew. so a scotch egg is a hard-cooked egg wrapped in our chef's own seasoned sausage recipe, then rolled in breadcrumbs and baked, served with Dij Dijon mustard. Yeah, and it's baked, not fried. So... Which means it's just a little better for me. It is still an egg wrapped in sausage, but. <laughs> yeah, good. She likes. Okay, so if I can put myself down. All right, so I think the first thing we're going to try is I'm actually excited about these. The cookie butter? Yeah, the cookie butter. I want to try this one first. Okay. All right, so we got the cookie butter plate. Um, so the cookie butter plate um, this week was the golden snitch served with apples and pretzels. And they change it based on the week. So... Let's go ahead. I'm going to try mine first with an apple. Then I will do the same. I'm going to get a big helping of it. Oh, wow. It's so sweet. I love it. I'm usually not a double dipper. But I'm double dipping. Because it's only for you anyway. So <laughs> well, that's so good. Right, now I'm going to try it with a pretzel. See the, because sometimes it changes based on the flavor palette. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Purple elephant. Watermelon. Watermelon. Watermelon sugar. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think it pairs better with the apples. Hold on, I haven't tried the. Pretzel. It's not that bad though. With the pretzels. I think I like it better with apples though. Just by your facial reaction, I think you like it better with apples. Actually? No? I like it better with this. Really? I love that, pretzels though. I do too. Shall we have a sandwich, my dear? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we got only two tops. Okay. Let me read them real quick. So our people know. So the tea sandwiches are for this week. The house cup chicken salad on wheat and the Kretcher's French onion spread on white bread. So the first one we're gonna try is the chicken salad. <laughs> I 
We'll get it in a second. Okay. Are you sure this is a chicken salad? <laughs> Thought it was. I think this is the French onion, darling. Is this the French onion? Oh, this is the French onion. It's still good. It is. It's really good. Mm -hmm. But there's no chicken in that. No. <laughs> You can't tell which one though. I know. Well, maybe it's because of the bread. I don't know. They look so close. This might might be the chicken sandwich. Oh yeah, that was the chicken salad. They're so good though. They're both good. Which one's your favorite? Didn't give me the chicken. Mine's the the French onion dip. They're so good. Oh. Uh. I'm actually going to have so much more. They're so small. So then I'm going to do the cheese plate. Um, I don't know. You like cheese too, right? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. So we're going to, let me tell you what everything's on here. Okay. Okay. So on the cheese plate, we have imported and domestic cheeses, assorted crackers, and your choice of chef's special recipe, hickory smoked bacon, chutney or savory tomato jam and for this week's this is soft cheese which is poly juice potion oh that's why it's green that's why it's green it's key lime so we have aged summer uh aged summer summer set extra sharp cheap english cheddar and assorted cheese cubes and we also have got grapes and that's the bacon butter, the little brown stuff. So let me turn you guys the around. The bacon chutney. The bacon chutney. Almost did it again. Almost knocked the whole thing out. So let me give y'all a good look. So that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna grab the extra sharp cheddar and a cracker. Some bacon chutney. Sharp cheddar. It's, it's good. Bacon's pretty good. It is good. Let's see. I'm gonna try it on this kind of a cracker. That is almost a little spicy. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. That is really good. Oh yeah, I'm picking the spice. I'm tasting the spice now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the poly juice. Okay. We see you. It's good. It's really good. And I don't like key lime. I would try anything once at least. That's good. That is really good. Sorry, hold on. Let me get the bacon out of my mouth. Very good. That's really good. I'm surprised the poly juice, like, is actually really good. I think this is pepper jack. Because pepper jack usually has red flakes in it. Here, it's the peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make one of me. I love cheese, guys, so these are my favorite. Always. Mm. I'm gonna try this white one. I'm gonna break it in half. I prefer the yellow, the sharp cheddar, but I don't know what this one is. I think this is mozzarella, maybe, or not mozzarella, but um, maybe a white cheddar. I prefer this one. Have you tried this one? This one's all yours because I had one by myself. Okay. 
And then grapes are grapes. <laughs> I kind of want to try your scotch egg though. Okay. So I said I don't like scotch eggs, but I've never had one. So. Okay, here we go. It's not that bad. I just thought my flavor palette. No, it's not my forte. I'm not a big fan of eggs. Like, I like deviled eggs, which is pretty much what that is. But with the sausage throws you off. I love the sausage. <laughs> I'm just glad we did Wizard Weekend because then we get to try all these Ooh. wizard flavors. We're right next to the acrobat show, and y'all saw them in my other video. And no, he, no, no, no. That's what in your other video it was not the acrobat. My first video. Oh, I was about to say. Opening weekend. Um, you saw the acrobats. I saw the acro the acrobatrics, and I um did a little clip of them um like trying to promote them, trying to help them out, mm -hmm. and like let people know about them, and. He did that during the show because she was, uh, she does the whip. If you guys hear it, we're like right there. Like it's literally just a fence keeping us away from it. But they, um, he, he, she's like, whenever I hit this, you say, oh yeah. And she'll smack it. Oh yeah. Smack. Oh yeah. And he'll be like, oh yeah. Cause they're husband and wife. <laughs> so. You know what I'm looking forward to? This beauty right here. You saw something fly at you too, right? I thought so too. I saw something fly at you. So we have the Butterbeer Trifle, which is, you got that, right? <laughs> so, Where is it? Okay, so this is a tea room specialty trifle. Um, it is, basically it's just a pound cake. Layers of custard, fruit, whipped cream, and other additions each week. That's all it really says. It's pound cake at the bottom. Then cream and strawberries and then whipped cream. Pretty much. So we're gonna try this one. I really wanted to come here our first weekend, but me and mom didn't want, like me and mom wanted to, but we didn't have the money that week. Yeah. So I'm super excited that I got to this week. I think mommy, I think my mom's gonna be a little bit jelly though. Cause she loves tea. So, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. And because it's butterbeer, there's caramel in here too. Caramel custard. Does that not taste like the butterbeer drink we had? It tastes exactly like it. Which means it would taste just like the butterbeer at Universal because the Starbucks drink tastes just like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so good, y'all. Mm. Mm. That's so good. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so good. And it looks like, it looks like almost like, whip, like um, when they have butterbeer in the movie, the foam at the top. Yeah. It's so good though. Tell me why I'm full already. We barely ate anything. I told you. That's, I told you that's why we got so much little, but we're full. <laughs> that's why I said a sharing a plate would be better. Because I knew there would be a lot of food. We really could have shared a truffle and a cookie butter. Probably. 
but it's fine. I didn't think it was gonna be um so I much. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be that much. They don't go. They do not go stingy on you. They really don't. Mm -mm. These are really good though. The cookie butter. What we would say is your favorite thing so far, food wise? The tr the trifle. I don't know. Food wise, I really like the finger sandwiches. That was really good. It's a good close second. I don't like. This is more dessert. Dessert food. Touche. I don't know. I really like the sandwiches. Those are really good. That's what I want more of. Not this. And I'm a sweets person. But like, I don't want more of the sweets. I want more of the finger sandwiches. Makes sense. I don't know why, but it just does. But the cookie butter is really good too. And I'm having apples. So, so you are obviously being healthy. No, because it's going in a cookie butter, but and I had to travel, so. It was being sarcastic, darling. Oh, I know. Mm. Hey, at least I was honest that I'm not trying to be healthy right <laughs> now. If you guys haven't noticed, it's my cheat day today. So. Oh, no. The cheese plate is a cheese plate. Nothing really, like. I did really like the bacon, though. The bacon chutney was really good. But. Sorry, I'm getting text messages. And yes, he messaged me. Of course he did. Did we go into this yesterday's video? Did I mention that I'm no longer single? So, I don't think I went into this, but yeah, guys. I am uh, taken. I am off the market now. So... I have a boyfriend, but he is currently on his way home right now, um, driving through Atlanta, and he's telling us to be careful because Atlanta traffic's really bad today. So he's he's just warning us. He's being super super thoughtful, which is really sweet. I love that the chef comes out and talks to people though. That's so cool. But this is a really beautiful place. Like, you should get see, I'm gonna show you where we are sitting at. So this is where we're sitting at. Say hello to Raven. This is where we're sitting. And honestly, it's beautiful. It's in the shade. We have a nice breeze coming through. It is so good. I'm I'm listening. I'm sorry. I'm eavesdropping. It's nice because those Hufflepuffs get away with eavesdropping. We do. You think you? They don't see me listening in, but you do. Because you're sitting here. There's a difference. I love that they actually give you china here. Like these are actually breakable plates. Because you know, accident prone Anna. You better not. And I better not either. <laughs> it's so good. And I think you're getting full because of the tea. Tea really does fill you up. Not usually. Yes. He was coming over here to talk to us. When social interaction is okay, when it's the chef. I really like this cheese. Really, I hadn't noticed. I ate all of it. <laughs> Except for the white one. Is it pickle jack? 
yeah that's pepper jack and i ain't doing that because that's gonna set me on fire not today that and i had that deep fried cheesecake Okay. Yeah, I need to slow down. Yeah. But it's so good. I know. I almost feel bad for not eating it all. I know. I'm trying to eat it all because I don't want to waste anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm sorry. Or she was not gonna hurt. I don't care. It was just perfect timing. Even if she wasn't talking to you, that was perfect timing. There was bacon chutney on that, right? <laughs> it's an odd combination. Was it good? Actually, yes. Actually, yes? Huh? How is everything? Really Delicious. good. I don't, I don't care if it was for you or the other girl. It was just it's, perfect timing. Exactly. I want more sandwiches. That's what's bad. I'm going to have to get some when I come. Like the weekend after next? Yeah. We don't know if it'll be the same flavor. I'm gonna be honest with everybody. You have your phone on you? Yes. Calculate this up real quick. So, it's not as expensive as I thought it was gonna be, but it is still like on the pricier side. But you also, it's the experience too. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining about the price. Like, I just wanna no i like to let my my viewers know how much something costs so if they come they're fully prepared so we got a cheese and cracker plate so that's eight dollars the tea sandwiches were six dollars we got one the scotch egg was four dollars we got one the specialty trifle was six dollars we got two the cookie butter was six dollars and we got two of them we got two ice drinks, which were $4. Um, so did you add two of those? Yeah. Okay. And then we got the hot teapot, which was small, and that was $6. $56. $56? Okay, so it was $56 altogether. But we're both full, and there's still food left over. So I'm going to shove it down my throat, basically. <laughs> yeah, because you paid for it. I think they got no boxes here. I think they do. Good because oh they do. They definitely do. Because uh -uh. I, I, I don't. I, I want to keep the rest of it because the rest of it's still good. I'm just full. hints that they take. They do to go. I kind of want to put the apples and I want to put like the grapes and the crackers and the rest of their scotch egg and like the pretzels and the apples. Maybe the cookie butter too. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Because the trifle definitely will not stay good, and neither will the key lime pie, or the key lime dip stuff will. <sighs> but this is so sweet that I don't know if I can finish it. I love the content I'm giving, getting with just people walking by, because they are making the funniest noises. So, what time is it? You just sat your phone back in. I'm so sorry. 153. See, I told you not to give him a time. I didn't think it was going to be that late already. Yeah, because I was going to say one or two is when we leave. But I mean, is there anything else that you're wanting to see while we're here? I mean, I want a lollygag on the way back. But oh, we yeah. Can... Not anything like specifically. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see the final joust because we've already, I've already seen it. Like how many times? Though? Like, <laughs> yeah. 
I need this this is my third because there's no possible way I am wasting this tea. Okay. We can ask for a to-go box on everything else and then you can finish your tea. Or if they got a hot cup, they, well, I, I could put some sugar in that and pour the rest in that. Mm. That's what I could do. But I'm, I'm pretty much like I do. I want to see some more shops as we go through. Yeah, and take me near wherever the bathroom is. Mm -hmm. Gotta use the bathroom as well. Not here because all I got is a porta potty here. Yeah, please don't take me to a porta potty. No, I'm gonna take you to the van. Okay, good. Because I think it's <laughs> over there by. It's actually down this way. Is it crazy that I just like to? No. She bought her one, guys, and it's a, let me show them. So she bought her a Slytherin one that fades down to black. And it's huge. Like, I got my wand at Universal, okay? I got the interactive wand from Ollivanders. Look, both at the very bottom. It did barely fits in my holster. It, yeah, and I got her a holster, so she has a holster like mine. Look, show them this. Hold on. Let me get mine back in. That's the ship. <laughs> and, she, and she got her a little bag. Yes. Did they see it? Oh no, I didn't show them. Now, yeah, there they go. See? <laughs> so, we're going to ask probably for a to go box. And then we will. Probably a couple of cups as well. Probably yeah. a to go cup too. Well, we'll see okay, there. guys. So sorry. I totally forgot to do an outro while I was at the Renaissance Fair. I've actually already dropped off Raven back at home. So this is the end of today's vlog. If you guys like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It's in red. Don't forget to hit that bell icon as well so you get notified of when I upload. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, be true, be you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>